This is really bizarre. Bella picked up a puffer fish eight hours ago. She's clearly in a lot of distress. Uh, she's very weak. She can't stand. She's got tremors. Um, the to toxin in, in puffer fish is actually, I think it's 1,200 times more powerful than cyanide. She should be dead right now. At the Bondi Referral Hospital SASH, Lisa is confronted with a rare emergency. One-year-old Bella has bitten a deadly puffer fish on the beach. Hey, darling, can I pick you up? Right, okay, okay. Right. Okay, so Bella apparently picked up a puff puffer fish this morning. She's been vomiting all day. She's clearly in a lot of distress. Uh, she's very weak, she can't stand, she's got tremors. Puffer fish are extremely dangerous. I mean, usually an animal should be dead within 60 minutes of biting one. Within half an hour, they have struggling to breathe and they need to be put on a ventilator. So this happened this morning. It's now been several hours and she's only starting to show these sorts of signs later. So it is quite atypical, but I am worried. This is really weird. I've never actually seen anything like this. I, I just want to make sure that she can breathe and ventilate properly because the worry is that the diaphragm can get paralysed and that's when they die. In reception, a quick search of the internet is not helping Bella's owner, Greg. Just did a check and it's um, the to toxin in, in puffer fish is actually, I think it's 1200 times more powerful than cyanide. So obviously a little bit goes a long way for a, for a poor little dog that small. Oh, baby girl. Okay, okay. You're okay, you're okay. I know. This is really bizarre. Bella picked up a puffer fish eight hours ago. She should be dead right now. There's no treatment for puffer fish toxicity. Uh, there's no antidote at all. So Bella needs to be treated with a drip and pain relief and sedation. And then we need to watch her really closely to make sure she doesn't need to go on a ventilator. Just have a sleep again. Sorry to disturb you, sweetie. It's a rare case, and Lisa is searching for answers. What we do know about the toxin in pufferfish is that it's one of the most deadly toxins in the world. It's the same sort of toxin that's in blue-ringed octopuses. It's called uh, tetrodotoxin. So what it basically does is it shuts the nerves down all over the body. I must admit, I haven't actually ever seen anything quite like this. Bella's owner, Greg, is struggling to cope with the news. Worst case scenario with pufferfish toxicity is that it can affect their heart, so it can make the heart basically stop. Usually, if they're going to improve, whether they're on a ventilator or not, they will take, say, 24 to 36 hours to get better. She's still with us, so she's going well. Greg's now calling his wife, Carolyn. Little Bella may be running out of time. Oh, sweet. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Greg's wife, Carolyn, has arrived at Sash to comfort the critically ill Bella. Bella just turned one yesterday. So she's still a baby. And she's such a, a cheeky little creature. Oh, she, um, <laughs> she's like, oh, she's just cheeky. And she's a, a really cheeky little grin. It's amazing how little, you know, hairy creatures can just touch her heart. We don't know what's going to happen over the next few hours. So we'll just take it hour by hour, I think. Who's a sleepy one? It's also a long night for Lisa at Sash, as she keeps checking on Bella's condition. Okay, can we see if you can stand ease? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Uh, she's still not good. She still hasn't got control of her legs and her, and her head sort of swaying around and. She's groaning, she still doesn't want to be touched, so the toxin is still in her system. But when Lisa puts the shaky Bella on the floor, she's showing plenty of courage. Come here. This is pretty amazing. I mean, Bella's 
still fragile, but she's standing and she's even walking. Yes, she's wobbly, but she's walking. She's getting there. She's sort of just learning to use her legs again. You're still a bit wobbly. Oh my goodness, now I can pick you up and you don't quiver. Hey? Several days after biting a poisonous hey, puffer fish, walkies? Bella has made an extraordinary recovery. Look at you! She's got her normal strength and she's bright and happy and running around, wagging her tail. And her mum and dad are going to be very excited to see her. doing the wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Carolyn and Bella's big sister Coco have arrived to take her home. Look at her! Oh, yeah. oh kisses! <laughs> really, really lucky little dog because following the textbooks, she should have been dead not within here. an hour, not with us. So it's almost a miracle. It's yeah. fantastic. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.